Hello and welcome to video number one in the uh, designing and DIYing and coloring and painting and making a train case all your own. So I'm kind of doing a video a little bit different um, than what I normally do. I'm, I have my camera pushed back quite a bit because I end up changing, um, if you watched my video previously, you saw that I had a um, different train case picked out for um, this particular video, but my daughter wanted me, wanted to keep that one. Um, she wanted to create a, like a makeup bag out of it, so I decided to go with this one. Um, and this one is actually, it, it's pretty good. I know I've been carrying craft supplies in it, but it's actually in pretty good shape for the interior. Um, but I love the mirror. I definitely have some ideas for the inside of it, but we're going to work on the outside today. So the first thing I do is, um, is I've covered, this was like a gray color, um, a train case. And what I did was I cut, covered it in gesso. And this is just, um, the regular, uh, gesso product from, uh, Hobby Lobby. I, they had a special, I think they run their master's touch, um, uh, like 50% off. So I picked this up, um, a while back, but I just basically did a cover and it kind of gives it this stabilizer to, um, to be ready to add, um, to add gesso to it. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next step. Um, what we're basically doing today is we are going to base coat the, um, the, the train case and then I'm going to go ahead and pencil in the design so we can start painting on it. So my next step would be is to put the background of of what I want to design on it. So this is the fun part. This is where you get to make it however you want it. Uh, let me go get my sketch pad and I'll show you exactly what I plan to do. Okay, so, you know, I've wanted to do kind of like a fairy tale type uh, scene on mine. So I kind of was, went online and looked at a couple of, um, of, um, quotes that I'm gonna, I want to add a quote to the top here and then I have my little fairy that's holding her little paintbrush and then I have a tree and I think I'm gonna have a tree come up and then actually the branches and the top are gonna come over onto the top a little bit so I'm definitely gonna have a face on my tree I think I'm gonna do that in a corner I have um, I don't know if you guys can even really see this but because I kind of lightly sketched but I have a teapot over here with a little cup of tea with a little tea teacup and then I have a hobbit house and a rainbow and then of course around the top here I'm going to put um, um, little vines of flowers um, as and it's going to go completely around so I hope that kind of fills it up if not we definitely can play around with it and like I said use your imagination kind of create something that um, that you're going to love um, down the line I know me and my daughter were talking about hers and she's like oh I love Netflix I said yeah but I want you to have a train case that you're gonna love past Netflix <laughs> if that is possible <laughs> so anyway so I guess what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you real quick how I'm gonna mix my paints up um, this is just the ink pad that I had um, I mean not ink pad but palette I just use a paper plate so I think what I'm going to do is kind of do blue um, along the lines here and then come back and do like a green. Um, and then I may, I may do everything kind of like this blue color because it is kind of like just to give it a base um, background. I always add white too. I kind of got this uh, trick from um, um, Trisha Robinson, if you haven't seen her art, it's so fun and whimsical. I've been taking a class by her and uh, having so much fun. So let me see if I can get that in there. I know I have lots of lights on because I want to definitely um, to see. And I'm just I'm just going to go over this really loosely with these colors because I'm going to be adding um, draw uh, the drawing, and then on top of that, I'm going to be adding more paint. Now, I noticed this this train case, like I said, was in excellent condition. See how the white kind of just gives it, like, not a solid color look? It looks, I love the way that it kind of mixes. It really always gives it kind of a whimsy, uh, wispy look. It's not your, you know, your color uh, I, where it's just like a solid color. I love the way that it adds some dimension to the actual background. So, um... Now, this train case in particular had excellent, uh, like I said, it was in excellent condition, 
and um, the trim on it was it's actually like where I've already painted it. I was really skeptical about see along here it's so pretty the um, the stitching was just like I said in great condition but and it was red it was really pretty and I, I, I really hesitated about um, going over it with my paint but once I made the mistake once I like did that I was like okay I'm just gonna cover it up so um, you can leave like I love the hardware on here and so I don't I'm gonna try to go around it I might have to get a smaller brush but I um I'm I really like and it's not as some of my stuff that some of the ones that I get are really end up being quite rusty and um, it's I end up painting over it uh, let's see here so the other thing oh yeah so I, and like I said you can tell my paintbrush I'm just kinda it's very lightly going in the same direction I was and like I said you're gonna get messy so make sure you're <laughs> this is what it's all about is having fun and making messes but um, I'm just very finally going over the whole entire entire train case like that so I'm going to wrap up this background and then we'll come back here and start doing um, the design. Alright you guys, so I have my first uh, coat of paint on. You can tell I've painted all of it except for the back side, which I will do also. Um, but just I wanted to get the top painted so we can go ahead and get started on our design. So I wanted to also point out I used this um, this acrylic paint. Um, it's also um, it's Master's Touch. These are Hobby Lobby, um, but I just wanted to kind of also as I go along, I wanted to show you guys, tell you guys the colors that I'll be using um, as I paint my train case. So as I mentioned earlier, I cut I do have a design um, in mind, and so what I'm going to do is just kind of show you how I'm going to sketch this out. Now I use this pencil. I was looking at it earlier. I have no idea where I picked this up other than I think I picked it up at Jerry's Artorama, um, which is an art shop here. And I have this eraser, which I call it my special eraser, but it is a, um, I picked this up at a, like a drafting place, but I think it's also can be picked up at art. It erases really good as far as it doesn't leave texture there's also these little white envelope uh, white um, erasers you can buy um, in the art section as well that are good erasers also um, and the reason I say that because if you use a regular eraser sometimes it leaves that black residue and um, the reason I like this pencil it's a drafting pencil but you can use any regular pencil um, but it's really light and so you don't get the darkness but again I'm gonna be doing a lot of outlining on this so I'm okay with it but I like to use this for especially if I'm watercoloring or um, using some of the acrylics because I don't I don't like having a lot of um, you know the, the the outline left sometimes I do sometimes I don't but anyway that just I do like this pencil because it is a lighter pencil lighter not so dark lead okay so I think what I'm gonna do is put the tree over here now my idea is to have kind of like these rolls that go like this I don't know if you let me see if I can get in to um, so you guys can see a little bit closer here see the swirls there so I'm gonna be doing like and a lot of times I won't even paint these I'm just gonna come in here and and with my paintbrush and I'll show you guys really quick how I do that. So I'll just pick like this um, Appled Orchid paint. This is just a acrylic folk art paint. I'll get kind of a fine a rounded brush here and a lot of times I just won't even um, use the pencil especially if I'm doing little swirls like this and I will just make sure I'm getting this in on the camera. No I'm not right there. <laughs> You guys are going to have to work with me because it's such a big train case for this space that I'm working on. But I will check in periodically because I don't, don't want you guys not to be able to see what I'm doing. So I just kind of do my little swirls there. So this to me doesn't really require um, um, 
it doesn't really require markings. So I plan on doing that completely all the way around. And then um, I think the plan is, is I'm going to sketch out today. Let me back it up a little bit here. I'm going to sketch out today and then tomorrow we will work on the first coat of paint and then um, I'll come in the following day and we will come in and highlight and do detail work and stuff like that. So we're actually going to have two days of painting on our train case here besides just this base and um, the, the drawing. So I want to kind of do a tree in here. So I'm going to just kind of come down and just kind of sketch out my tree just so I know exactly where the space is. Now with my tree I'm going to have a face on it and then I'm going to have the branches come up like this and I'm going to have it kind of come up around even on top of the tree is my idea. Now it's not going to, of course me being this being a um, whimsical uh, suitcase we're not going to have, it's not going to be um, you know green leaves right it's going to be colorful leaves so we're going to work on that and then I thought about even having like um kind of having the trees come out here and maybe even doing like a, a swing that comes off of here okay and then along here you know I might have a mushroom come out like that you guys I know this is kind of hard to see make sure you guys are getting that so that's kind of what I'm doing along here is I'm just kind of getting an idea of what I want to draw um, when I get closer so I had my little fairy in here but I think what I'm gonna do is do this as my hobbit house right here and maybe I will use a darker pencil that way you guys can see because I feel like this lighter pencil you're not able to really see what I'm doing how about this let's do does that come in a little bit better okay so I'm gonna do my little hobbit house which is kind of a longer a roof bit there and the hobbit house kind of has a curve on it kind of mushroom shape itself it kind of has a circle entry and then I love having adding a little chimney on there can you guys get that in there? A little chimney. And it's going to be blowing out little hearts. Okay. So there's my little mushroom hobbit house. And again, these are just kind of sketching out the design. I'm going to have another little, um, little mushrooms in here. So, and I'll probably run some green grass along this right here. And then over here, you know, you have to have your rainbow. So I'm going to do my little rainbow and kind of have the multiple colors. So we're going to do our little rainbow on the corner there. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, right there. It'll be much better if I paint. And again, please use your own design. This is just kind of me, what I'm thinking is going to be, um, fits what I want. So I think right here I'm going to do my girl, my little, um, little fairy girl. So I'm going to just kind of, kind of got a little crazy with her chin there. Um, let me move in a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Okay, 
So I'm just going to draw the chin and then her little neckline and her little, she's going to be holding a paintbrush. So we're going to bring her arms around like that. Bring this, bring her neck line around like that. And bring her dress out. And then her little, her legs. Okay. And then I'm going to have the paintbrush come up like this. Come down. Maybe she'll be coloring the rainbow. Maybe we'll do that with her. Her arm got a little... She's going to be holding that paintbrush. I have two arms going on there it looks like to me see how this this pencil is not the best to erase but no worries because we're gonna have her okay like that maybe that's better and then her fingers are gonna come around like that okay and then I think when we get up to her hair and this details can work out. As we get my have her wearing a crown or something. There we go. Sorry about that. I don't know. We'll work with that as it gets closer. The crown may go away because it looks kind of weird up there, but the good news is we can erase it and we're going to be adding some more pretty stuff in here so it'll kind of go I might move her head a little smaller or something like that okay so we have her done let's back it up a little bit here oops and then we're going to have some more ground cover and then I originally had like a teapot here, but I think what I might do is, um, let's think here. What else could be some fairy? Let's see what else I have written down. Um, I did have a banner. We could do a banner that comes down. that says something. I'm going to do create. And then we could even do some uh, flowers in here. Maybe a couple of little cute pinwheels or something like that. So we'll fill this up. And then of course when we get to the back I'll probably just do some more flowers or something like that. And then that way, or maybe do another tree or something. We'll, we'll kind of get there when we, when we start painting. So there we have our beginning stages. And then of course on the top here, it'll be one of those um, that we come in and do the wording. So I think what I might do is... Um, Let's go ahead and finish. Let's do the tree. Let's go ahead and start the tree. That way, because um, it's gonna it's gonna take a while to get um, 
this moving and so that way this video is a little longer these videos may run a little long but we're gonna um, get this super creative here so okay so for the tree I'm gonna be doing like a brown if I can find my browns paint here I hadn't planned on doing my tree yet but uh okay let's see if I can find my brown paint Okay, so I'm going to be using this raw sienna. It's the folk art. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my tray here, my paper plate. And then I also have this espresso, which um, it's a darker color. And then I'm going to kind of use, sorry, it was kind of ooey gooey. I'm going to move this big O. See if we can get in there better. Okay, and then I have my white paint. White paint is getting very messy. So, and I'm gonna pick a, a larger, rounder paintbrush. And you can see these are the two colors I'll be using. So I'm gonna kinda just, I'm gonna come in with a darker shade of brown. And I'm just kinda mixing it with the white and that raw sienna and then I'm just going to take a big clump of it as you can see here and we're going to paint the trunk and you can see as I'm painting let me move this up a little bit it actually is showing those different layers of color in there Now keep in mind this is just the base layer and I'm just picking up the different colors. Nothing, um, you know, not the one, not that one sien sienna color, but also picking up that brown espresso with the white. And that way you get the color of the different layers. This is kind of a thick trunk tree. <laughs> But I kind of like it. I really wanted to make sure I had room for the face too on it. So we're going to bring it all the way up to here. And then of course it's going to have its... Um, we're going to um, be able to... Uh, what do you call it? Um, be able to... Really be able to add a face to it. Okay, so then you have the big trunk, and then I'm going to come out here. I want to take some of my paint off to make my brush a little bit thinner, and I want to come out here with the paint, with the, um, with the branches. Now, I know I didn't have these drawn in, but I'm just going to kind of, just so we have some um, realistic look, I'm going to come in here again and fill this in, but this is going to be our first layer to, to paint. Okay, looks kind of funny for now, but you'll see when we get in here. I like to come in and add a little bit of light, light to the tree branches as well. Sometimes I'll do this as a, as a um, second coat, but it seems to be taking it fairly well. And then I'm going to do the darker. Oops. Looks like I picked up quite a bit of white there. I might have to... Okay. See how it kind of starts smearing together? We're going to come in and add some dark on top of that, but we got to get it to, to, be, to lighten up a little bit. Now, my little hobbit house, I think it's going to be pink, y'all, because I love pink. And it's this is my little fantasy world, and I can paint the house pink. So I'm going to go ahead and do the um, pink house. This is a pink called Dragon Fruit. 
And it's a kind of a brighter pink color. Almost like a hot pink. You can see the color right there. I'm going to add a little bit of white. And we're going to mix it up a little bit. And it kind of gets almost like a Pepto-Bismol look to it. I'm going to add pink right here to my little house. The roof's going to be a different color, but the body of the... And again, I'm just kind of doing this first layering because I know I'm going to come back in here and add detail work to it. go ahead and paint those little hearts so we have those painted and I'm going to add just a little bit of touch of the darker pink what I love about hearts is that they um, they're just two little lines going down there we go oh, that's cute okay and I think I'm, since I already have this pink on the page, I'm going to paint a part of my rainbow pink. And that way I don't waste the paint. And then, should we paint her dress pink? Let's go ahead and get her. I might need a thinner brush for her. I just don't want to waste this paint that I already have out on my out on my um, pa my paper plate here. And that way we can use it up. And we're getting that first layer of paint in there. So I just got a little bit smaller rounded brush. And I'm just going to come in and paint her, her little dress. Now I think what I'm going to do is have her, this may be like a jumper, and have her wearing different sleeves. Maybe easier for me to paint with it actually down. It's just me having to get on this little level here. And what I'll do too is just um, we'll come in and add more shading as we get into the actual painting. How's that look? Okay. Um, I know I could keep going on and on and on, you guys, but I did want to not make this a super long video, and we're going to come back and add more um, images to it, but I totally could just keep painting. Okay, let me uh, finish using up this pink paint, and then we'll call this video a um, done, and we'll pick it up where we left off 
tomorrow. And this gives an opportunity, especially if you want to come in here and get some bigger pieces painted, like the tree, for example, where you're going to be adding a lot more different um, images to... I already stuck my finger in that tree. <laughs> um, then you really do... I mean, it would be good to kind of... Because it is a process. I um, A lot of times, um, I have to let... I call it resting, but... Um, usually I call it resting when I can't come up with a... Um, uh, when I need the paint to rest, when I need the idea to rest because nothing's coming to me or it's not looking right, but with this, you'd really do have to kind of uh, let things dry in between. But usually, I try to work on like I would already be working on the lettering or something like that. But it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna finish this little banner up here, and then we're gonna call it a video. And then I will see you tomorrow as we continue to paint. Okay, so let's do, oops. So we have basically, using the pink, we filled in a lot of things. Let me kind of fix that um, Hobbit house a little bit. Okay, so that kind of gives you guys some work to do. And then we'll touch base tomorrow. Um, that tree looks funny, but don't you worry about it. We're going to fix it up. And um, it's going to start coming together. All right, you guys. We'll see you tomorrow.